Today, I'm gonna to be doing a master study. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, master studies are basically exercises in which artists um, replicate artworks done by the masters. A great way to get into an artist's head and learn their techniques and their methods. We often did them in art school. Matter of fact, here's some of mine from back in the day. Now, with all that being said, I'm not going to do an exact copy today. I'm going to, you know, my style is going to bleed through, um, but I'm still going to have like the, um, the spirit, the spirit of the painting is still going to be there. Now, I wanted to do today's video on one of my favorites, Francisco Goya, but uh, <laughs> his work will get me demonetized real quick. So uh, instead, I decided on Springtime by Pierre Auguste Cote, even though with that one, I'm going to have to make some changes too. <laughs> now for some quick art history. Cote was a French academic classicist painter. Academic classicism, academic art, it's basically an art style that was big in Europe around the 1800s all the way till 1900. Uh, it's basically a blend of neoclassic and romantic styles and emphasized allegory and idealism other than realism, which would come on later in time. Just real quick, I love romanticism. Romantic paintings tell a story and they're so full of mood and atmosphere, they often can be beautiful or straight nightmarish to look at. So maybe that's why I gravitated towards this painting by Colt. All right, so with that background, let's get to it then. All right, so let's get started here. Um, right here, I am blocking out some shapes, just trying to get a basic idea of uh, where everything is relative to everything else around it. Uh, right now, you can realize I messed up uh, in drawing their legs. They, they look too short. Their torsos and arms are longer than their legs. Uh, here, I... Uh, <laughs> Messed up by starting uh, with uh, coloring. I got ahead of myself and started coloring them in. Really, uh, future Hector's gonna be mad at past Hector for uh, jumping the gun on that one. But uh, nevertheless, it's coming along nicely here. I'm uh, coloring, uh, doing the backgrounds right now. That's one thing too about this uh, particular project is that I feel like I um. I was too eager. I got too cocky and I uh, <laughs> thought I'd be done with this in about one day, a day and a half, but really it took me about three days to work on this. There you go. I'm uh, fixing the proportions right there. <laughs> Looks much better now. I realized her expression. Uh, I, I changed it. I don't know. <laughs> I like the one I, I drew more. Moving on to doing some line art here. Moving on from the sketch layer. I like to think uh, I have like a routine, <laughs> but uh, the way I started this project, I was kind of all over the place. Finishing up here, separating the character colors from the background colors, just to make it easier and more efficient. Trying to get the details on the shadow and the lights here. Coming up towards the finish line here. All right, and we should be done there. Wait a minute. What is that? Oof. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta change that, we gotta change that, we gotta change that. And we're done. Okay, well, we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, am I satisfied with it? I'd say so. Um, are there some things I would change about it? 100% yes, but we'd be here all day if, you know, <laughs> I wanted it to be just right. But uh, yeah, that's that was a master study. It felt nice doing that. I haven't done one of those in a while. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned until next time, yeah? All right. See you, bye.